Well, you guys know Jeremy? Hey. This is Jeremy, the one wild crafter. The one. The one. And only. <laughs> one and only. <laughs> Trying to find a brand new lake that neither one of us have as, has ever been before. And we may get lost or we may get found, but apparently this lake is full of trout. Yeah. And I'm gonna give her a spot away. Gotta follow up and up and up and up and up and up and on and around. Do, do they have deer flies in the states? I don't know. I, I've maybe never they heard. Call them something else. Maybe they have. Like uh, I've never heard anybody else mention deer flies in any of their videos, but they're vicious. They will bite a big chunk out of your skin. Yeah, they hurt. They hurt. I want to take a pee break, but there's too many deer flies. That's like a swarm of wasps. Look at those guys. I'm not even gonna open the window to show you guys, but they're <laughs> they're gonna all get in here. You're gonna go for a pee break? Yeah, I gotta do it. Let me know how she goes. Okay. Uh, there's a few deer flies out here. <laughs> oh, just a cloud of them. Insane how many there are. Well, since Jerry's gonna go out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch my legs because I've been in the car for an hour or so. We won't, we won't get them in the car though. <laughs> oh, I get bit. This is crazy. I've never seen this many deer flies. I told Jeremy I didn't want to go back to the creek. Ow, immediately getting bit. Jeremy's got his brand new lipstick colored cop, cop tractor with the bright red canoe. We can't put any scratches on it. A lot of people made fun of the sticker. What was the sticker say? Coexist. Coexist which was uh, ironic, I suppose, because Jeremy's nothing about coexisting with anything. <laughs> it's basically old logging roads. If you guys ever come to Canada, we have lots of crown land. So there's a good chance what's over here is crown land. Over there is crown land and the lake's going to be on crown land too. This hood's going to do good. <sighs> Mystery tackle box. Light, oh. Lightweight hood for like summer fishing so they yep. can't bite the back of my neck. Yeah, that's handy. And then you don't get sunburnt too. Super comfy. grouse that's for uh, dinner for next next fall this fall oh that's a big one yeah we're not gonna be able to lift that one I don't know I don't think so <laughs> that's why it's still there it moved a little bit <laughs> you don't have a shovel do you no that's a big one. All right, so we'll just put the wheel on it. Want me to guide you a little sure. bit, or do you care? But if he puts the wheel up on top, I think he goes to the right here. Break a couple of these branches. See the lake right there. Yeah, we're close. Oh, we made it. Now the deer flies get to feast on us. It's cool. There's a little little landing here. Spot to cook our fish when we catch them. Maybe. We're getting eaten alive in the process. Someone's got a little tin boat out here too. So next time we'll just bring a motor. Be all set for a relaxing day out in the lake. It's a cool little spot here. The lake to ourselves, it looks like, because there's no cars out here. Nice little boat launch. Good sized lake. It's supposed to be full of fish, too, so. <laughs> We're so far off in the bush. Somebody brought wood. Somebody left us a canoe. YouTubing? YouTubing. I want to mention that this video is sponsored by Mr. Taco Box. Use my code plus links down below and I'll do you to get your first box for as little as 10 bucks. And of course, what's in the box is a complete mystery, but it's going to cover all the bases from panfish to trout to bass and of course, trout. Trout? Did I say trout already? And if you're into fishing the new innovative tackle that's coming out, this is the be your best bet. You're going to expand on your tackle that you already have. You're probably going to get something cool, interesting, and fun to try. So check out Mr. Tackle Box. Again, use the code BEARDSMAN. 
and that's gonna get your first box for as little as 10 bucks. Now let's see if we can't catch ourselves a delicious trout. Oh, you got the net. I was gonna remind you to bring the net. Yep. Got it. The net matters. Prospects, looking good? I think so. We got perfect trout conditions. We got overcast, yeah. we got a light breeze. So wind's going this way. I think if we go up the up that way a little bit, we'll just drift. Our way back. drift. Yeah. We're gonna use like just a big fat worm on a hook, which we've been very successful with before. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna probably fit in like the 30 foot range yeah and then we're going to get those trout to come up and smack it just yeah. like just like drift just, just a big fat one. shot to like keep it down keep there. it down yeah i think that's going to be the, the trick and we'll long long line yep it's been very successful hey the guys out here with big motors and stuff they just end up spooking the rainbows yeah but canoe just light drift stealth mode stealth and then that that temptation for that trout is going to be pretty big mm -hmm. so i think we're going to be good I think so. Overcast is good. Do we bring bananas on the boat? Jeremy, Jeremy says yeah. Why not? And I got some uh, hot, our hamburger patties. Oh, nice. So that'll probably cancel out any negative energy. <laughs> <laughs> Three bananas on the boat. First time in a canoe this year. Is it? Yeah. Mine too. Dude, we're slacking off. Well, What's wrong with us? We've been busy doing other things and... I am going to throw a little swivel on here just so I don't get tangled up oh, yeah. more than necessary. No, that's a good idea. Do you have a swivel? Do you need one? There's got to be something in here. Well, I didn't the stocking records. I only looked at the lake on the map. So yeah. I'm taking you at your word that this is loaded with rainbows. It's loaded. That's all we're gonna do. That's not the prettiest job I ever did, but we'll see if it works. How far out do we want to be? I don't know. Yeah. Always adjust after too. Yeah, somewhere probably around here would be fine, I think. Got a big gob of worm on there now. I always wonder if you should try something different. Maybe throw a spinner out there, spinner or spoon. But I don't have any experience with this lake. I just know it works. Big gobble warm lake. The warm water is pretty warm, so I don't know if that matters for rainbow. But this trip almost didn't happen. It's kind of an addendum. I am a visiting family up here, and told Jerry I got one more day. What do you want to do with it? He said, "Okay, let's go." Jeremy into the chips already. And he's bored, so he's checking his emails. Mm -hmm. Posting to Instagram. <laughs> Too bad you aren't here. I'm fishing. <laughs> Eating chips and fishing. Mm -hmm. It's like two of the best things in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably wondering what's making that sound. It's two loons over there, but only one's pretty chatty. Got a beaver dam over here. Oh, not close enough. Just go all the way back and then drift. We have heard a couple of bullfrogs. <laughs> Tempted to go try to find them, but on this shoreline, it might be tricky. We might have to. We don't catch anything. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be just rain. Don't trust the weatherman though. I think they're trying to make ratings just like everybody else. Wow, it's a beautiful day out here. We were supposed to get some rain, but uh, it looks like the forecast was wrong. I didn't really trust it too much. Kept decreasing the amount as the forecast became closer. So, usually don't cancel something unless it's actually doing the thing it's not supposed to do. But we've already done a loop around and uh, no bites, no nothing, no indication of any kinds of fish. No bites. This lake's empty, probably. Nothing to do with our fishing. 
fishing perfectly. It's empty. Not a fish left. I'm not gonna be able to spot one though. Who's got the burrow here? Is that like a beaver house or what? There's a beaver house here. Oh yeah, so it is an old bug. Is that a green one there? Yeah. Oh that one there. I think that's also a green one. I think it's a bullfrog, it's a pretty small one. I did hear one back here. I think it was over on that beach. The banana on the boat's trick didn't work. Hmm. It just brought the rain in. Yeah. No fish and we got rain now. Well, it's just spitting. But there's a thunderstorm risk warning in effect. So I thought it'd be safer just to see what happens with this one here. It's just missed. Well, I'm not saying it's my fault we're skunked, but <laughs> we do have three bananas on the boat. You want a banana, Jer? They're not. Oh. Bullfrog. They're not. Uh, my mom accidentally put them in the freezer. Okay. <laughs> accidentally? Accidentally. She's like, she put a bunch of stuff in she got from grocery store. She put them all in the freezer and she burnt the bananas. But the insides are all right. Okay. So I figure if we. Uh, each each eat a banana and then maybe we'll offer one banana to the banana gods just kidding can't waste a good banana maybe we'll get a bite we'll get pretty superstitious about that now if we eat all the bananas and there's no more bananas on the boat and we catch a fish i think that will solidify me as a believer if you uh, get fresh bananas from like say the dominican when i went there i ate them i thought they'd be so much better they're not. One banana down. Two bananas down. Yep. I'm not really hungry. Throwing your peels out. Can't keep the peel in the boat even? No, because that counts as a banana in the boat. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll pass you. I have a banana. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's fish. Although after you swallow it and it's in your stomach, is it still on the boat? We noticed there was a fire pit here and a uh, nice little landing here. Somebody's got like a canoe dock. So could not not come up here and have a look. That's kind of a weird spot, but at least we checked to see because if we decided that, you know, there was actually some fish in this lake that we could come back and camp here, but this is not a viable camp spot. The only mystery left is to figure out why they made a dock there for a canoe. But maybe people come have a break here or whatever if they're fishing in the summer yeah. rather well, than this, just camp. This is a summer fire pit, right? Like, yeah, that wouldn't be there in the winter. And actually, someone was here recently because there's like <laughs> some undissolved bannock <laughs> or bread. Or yeah, donuts. nothing got to it. No animals got to it. Maybe it's a bagel. It looks like a bagel. It's a bagel. <laughs> yeah, it is a bagel, right? Oh, well, that's what you get. Guess we're not that far out. Maybe this is a good spot for uh, long lining. Maybe. It's always the thing about these lakes. You never know what's in them, if you're going to catch anything. But it's nice to explore because I've never been to this lake, ever. You could do that easily in Canada. There's two million lakes in Canada or something like that. You can never fish them all. It would be impossible. Ramming speed! Just go 
it up a little bit. Yep. Here. There's a burger lid. Just go open the car up quickly. Beards, man, I'm packing all of our stuff. It's getting wet. Yeah, that's a dark one coming. See if we can't find ourselves a uh, bullfrog. There was one squawking over here. How far did you go? No. Are we just meatless? Yep. Brutal. Meatless. Well, maybe we'll find some roadkill. This is not a good feeling to be meatless. But uh, if you stuck with me for this long, I do have a backup plan. So <laughs> stick around. Oh, now we're doing some off-roading, getting distracted. We saw a little puddle, puddle lake with the very steep banks, which may be deep enough for some brookies. <laughs> it's very small. Super small. This is where all the rainbows went in this lake. That was the wrong one to be pushing on. <laughs> this one. Check them all first. Oh, there's a bullfrog down there. Yeah. See that way down there? Another secret lake. <laughs> and it just started raining again. There's fish in here. Probably. <laughs> like, it's, it's, I mean, you can throw a stone across it. It's funny that the road goes right into the water. <laughs> oh, do we have bear tracks here? Dog. Dog. Dog and people boots. Well, I think we made the right call. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be in the canoe with that. No, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Did you guys see that? <laughs> he broke me off! <laughs> he just jumped up there to try to spit the hook. That's my luck! I can't catch a trout! <laughs> I, I had him on first cast, broke the line, swam all the way across there after he broke the line, and jumped up trying to spit the hook out. <sighs> I've done myself in again. I'm never gonna catch this freaking trout. That's just my luck. Go all the way up north, try to catch a rainbow, and I'm t telling myself, I'm not gonna get skunked. I never get skunked. Skunked is a frame of mind. I'll come back here, I'll catch a trout. 
and I'm still skunked. Use the code Beardsman for uh, Mystery Taco Box. You'll get your first box for as little as ten dollars. Can't believe that. 